Hi, I'm Dr. Spencer Lucas. I'm the Curator of Geology and Paleontology at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science in Albuquerque. And I'm here at the Sandia Mountain Natural History Center today. I'm on the Mud Springs Loop Trail of the center, and I'm looking at a place that's very well known to everybody who's walked the trail. This is a large shark's tooth in a piece of limestone, this, this black object right here along the trail. And what's really the most fascinating thing about this to me is not so much the shark's tooth. This is a shark's tooth of an of a animal we call Petalotus. This was a large predatory shark of the Pennsylvanian period, which means it lived a little more than 300 million years ago. And so this shark, represented by the tooth, was living in the sea that covered much of New Mexico a little more than 300 million years ago. But what's so interesting about this is the rock itself, because this rock is not in the place where it was formed. And it, it's interesting to me because when I first came here and studied the geology of the center, I assumed that this was just a piece of limestone from the Permian limestones that are right up the hill from me, and that it had slid down the hill, and here was this wonderful shark to it. But when I looked at the Permian limestones, I realized very quickly that they did not have this. See these brown blobs? These brown blobs are nodules of chert. Okay, so this is silica, silica nodules, chert nodules in the limestone. Well, none of the Permian limestones have chert in them. But if I go up slope a mile or more, I will find Pennsylvanian age limestones that are full of these chert nodules, very characteristic. Then on top of it all, we looked at some of the microfossils that are in this limestone. And those microfossils indicate that the limestone is Pennsylvanian in age. The shark's tooth doesn't tell us that for sure, because the shark petalotus lived during both the Pennsylvanian and the Permian. So the shark tooth is not a precise indicator of geologic age. The microfossils are, but more importantly, these chert nodules are very characteristic of the Pennsylvanian, not of the Permian. So this block of rock, which is a pretty big block of rock, it's about the size of a, of a car hood or a truck hood, came down this canyon at some point, probably during a flash flood, from more than a mile upslope. And if you look up this canyon at the trees and the bushes, you can tell that this was a flood quite a while ago, long before most of the vegetation in this canyon grew up. So, to summarize, we're looking at a Pennsylvania shark's tooth, the shark petalotus, an animal that lived in a sea that was here more than 300 million years ago, but it's on an exotic piece of rock, a piece of Pennsylvania limestone that's washed down a mile or more in this canyon and come to lie in place here.